We're now in a new section in our AutoCAD 2017 Essentials course. And what we're going to look at now is hatching and gradients. Now, hatching and gradients are normally used on a drawing to highlight specific areas of a drawing. So, for example, you might cut through a piece of metal and use a crosshatch on the sectional cutout view that you've created. In a construction drawing, like the one you can see here, you might use hatches to highlight rooms that need working on or perhaps are going to be refurbished or rebuilt, something along those lines. Now, the drawing itself you will recognise, it is familiar, it's that building with the doors, the stairs, the windows and so on. And what I've done is I've saved some model views for you, and we've got an office model view that we need to go to, and then we're going to hatch the rooms in the office, ready to be highlighted, to be used at a later date. Now we're going to look at a hatch, and we're going to look at what is called a solid fill, and we're going to look at different methods of hatching as well. So let's go over to the view control, as we've done in previous videos, click on the top there, and then we're going to select custom model views and you'll see there's an office model view there saved in the drawing for you and that will zoom us into the office area now I'm just going to pan above the command line a little bit just for clarity so that when those words pop up off of the command line there they don't affect the view so we've got three offices we've got this one we've got this one and we've got this one and what we're going to look at is just different methods of hatching and how hatching actually works within AutoCAD itself now the hatch command is on the draw panel on the home tab on the ribbon. It's just over here and it's this little fly out here. We've got hatch, gradient and we've obviously covered boundaries already. Now I'm just going to hit escape there and I'm going to give you a little tip. Always, always, always create a new layer for your hatching. So on the home tab you go to the layers panel, click on layer properties and what we're going to do, we're just going to set up a new layer called hatch. There's the new layer icon there, just click and it comes up as layer one, so I'm just going to type in hatch, like so, and I'm going to give it an orangey kind of colour. So I'm going to click on where it says white, and I'm going to give it an orangey kind of colour. I'm going to go for that one there, which is colour 31. I'm going to click on OK, and continuous is a perfectly good line type for that layer. Now we need to make it the current layer, so see the little sheet of paper next to the word hatch on the left of it there? Just double click on it, and that sets it as the current layer. You can see current layer hatch at the top of the dialog. Click there on the cross to close the layer properties manager. Now, when we hatch, it'll obviously go onto that layer, which makes our life a little bit easier. We can freeze that layer and freeze any hatching that we need to hide in the drawing at a later date if we need to. So let's look at hatching. So we go up to the draw panel, click on the little flyout menu and select hatch. As soon as you do that, you'll notice that the ribbon changes and you now get this kind of preview thing going on. You'll notice. Can you see that? and it's highlighting a hatch pattern there. Now, hatch patterns, I need to select a specific pattern. So I go over here now, and you'll notice the ribbon has changed to a hatch creation tab, which is contextual, which is great. And as you can see, if I hover over any type of boundary, it's giving me a little preview of that hatch. So we're gonna go up here to hatch pattern first, and I want to select a hatch pattern that will work for me. I'm gonna select a basic cross hatch, which is this one here, ANSI 31. So I select that there like so. Now when I hover, can you see it still looks like a solid fill? That's because I need to change the hatch scale, which is over here in the properties. So if I look there, see that it's one. So that's literally the equivalent of like having one millimeter between each hatch line. I'm going to change that to 100 and press enter. Now when I preview that, you'll see, look, it's a much cleaner hatch. And that's probably a little bit too big, actually. So let's just halve that a little bit. Let's go to 50 and press enter. And you'll see that's perfect. That's the sort of hatch that I need for each room if I'm going to use it. So the idea being there is now I can hover over that and I can just click. Now I'm using the pick points method. So that's over here on the boundaries panel. There's pick points there. If I wanted to select a specific object like a polyline, I could use the select boundary objects, for example. And you'll notice, look, any boundary that I hover over, I'm getting that cross hatch on. So what I'd like you to do is hover in this space here for the left-hand room and just click like so. And you'll see it forms a boundary. Can you see that sort of bright blue line around it now, pale blue line? So what it's done there is it's picked the boundary of the hatch for you. You just press enter to finish, job done. You have placed your hatch like that. And that's how quick and easy it is to place a hatch pattern in AutoCAD 2017.